All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Eat those sweet snacks, you whale. I can hear your oh, fat rolls screaming for mercy, and it's making me hard as a rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't waste it. Oh, look, you gotta get every last drop, you little pig. Hey, did you change your look up or something? Nah, man. I could swear. I could swear that's like a new Christmas sweater. Are you sure you didn't? You sure Just you didn't? shut up and keep eating so I can feast on your cellulite. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my God. yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new gluttony induced myocardial infarction. My name is Leon Lush and I am filled with glee that you would be so kind to spend a few minutes here with me today. Anyways, I'll cut right to the chase. Today's video is just a 10 minute mukbang. <laughs> that is the good shit kind of content right here. Just sit and watch me eat for another 15 minutes. One and a half million views. Love YouTube. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Nah, I'm only teasing. Mukbangs are unequivocally the worst content on YouTube. I couldn't possibly put you through that. I care about you too much. Just not so much that I wouldn't put you through this. I think watching a woman eat is erotic. Philip's turned on by feeding me because when I eat, I gain weight. <laughs> and he loves new curves, cellulite. A bigger body. Now I have to imagine you're saying out loud to yourself, damn it, Leon! It's only a few seconds into this video and already my loins are moister than a slice of white bread in a swimming pool. Well, may I suggest grabbing a towel because it's only gonna get better from here on out. And let's eat. Mm -hmm. You imagine where the fat's gonna go, where the curves are gonna go. <laughs> he likes me to gain, I like to gain, so it's a perfect match. I gotta tell you, Philip and I, <laughs> Cut from the same cloth. I, I mean, is there anything sexier than watching somebody binge eat and just imagining where that fat's gonna go, where the fat's gonna turn into rolls and get all sloppy with the skin tags? I mean, sometimes I like to just post up in a fast food restaurant and just watch people eat and just imagine how that fat's gonna start forming on the lower back side of their body and just give myself a, you know. I, you just... I find our feeder feeding relationship to be erotic extremely sexy. It's perfect match. I mean, talk about concrete proof that there is someone out there for everyone. Are you worried that you're never gonna find a partner because your only goal in life is eating yourself to death? Well, fear not, because there is a man out there right now, somewhere in the world, that gets off to the idea of helping you eat yourself to death. I mean, it is just a match made in heaven. And you know what else is a match made in heaven? You, me, in today's video sponsor, Vikings War of Clans. If you're like me, you've probably at some point fantasized about becoming a Norse god or goddess. Well, I'm here to tell you that that fantasy just became a reality. Vikings War of Clans is an in-depth strategy RPG inspired by games that I spent hundreds of hours on as a kid, like Age of Empires and Command and Conquer. You can command armies, upgrade your heroes, gather resources, conquer your enemies or your friends if you want, as you build your empire in whatever style of play you're comfortable with. There's already more than 20 million players online fighting over supremacy, forging alliances, and competing in live events. Now I've personally been playing almost a month now and I can honestly say that this is one of the more fun and immersive mobile strategy games that I've played to date. I also love playing games from developers that support YouTubers like myself because it allows me to create the content that I like and that you guys enjoy, hopefully. It's really a win-win. So you can help support my channel by downloading Vikings War of Clans for free using my link in the description box down below. You'll get a special welcome bonus of 200 gold coins and a protective shield, and you'll also be helping support this channel by playing a fun game. Now, finally, don't forget to look me up and join my Vikings clan under the nickname Tomato Mafia. I'll see you there. Use the link below. Now, we're no stranger to looking at weird fetishes on this channel, right? Like the girl that likes to role play as a dog or the adults dressing up and acting like babies. Now, and this video kind of falls under the fetishistic category as well. Feederism, deriving sexual pleasure from encouraging another to eat, being served large quantities of food and or gaining weight. <laughs> I weigh somewhere over 600 pounds. That's it? I call myself an encourager more than a true feeder. The feeder would be the person who is admiring of an obese large person. 
part of their attraction to them is the desire to want to feed them. Now let me be clear, we're not fat shaming here, okay? I say let love, love, right? If you're into the BBWs or the BBMs, you like a little extra taffy to twist around while you're performing coitus on one another, hell yeah, get after those roles, baby, I'm all about it. But it gets a little strange for me when the attraction is wrapped up in the desire to just keep feeding someone, in feeding someone, until they become so large that they either die or just can't get out of bed. Actually, you know what, now that I said it out loud, that, that is kind of hot. <laughs> oh, I saw her geez. picture. It was very impressive. That kind of took me by surprise. Very impressive indeed. I was leaning over a bed and my belly was just hanging down, and he just went nuts. She's a big girl. I like big girls. Okay, a little tasteful censoring was necessary there. Remember, this is a Christian channel after all. There are very few people who meet and fall in love with a person that is also the embodiment of their fetishes. <laughs> Don't I know it, Philip. Don't I know it. I wanted to become a web model so I could show my body and men could have their perfect woman to view. You know, I mean, it's not fair that I take a thing of beauty and hide it away or not show it off. The world is not fair, that we know, but Donna is doing everything in her power to tip the scales in the other direction. She could just hide such a beautiful gift, but that wouldn't be fair at all, so she shares it with the world. I mean, she is as selfless as she is hungry. I happen to be her photographer. Of course, I have to bring to the forefront Donna's beauty, Donna's sexiness, Donna's fatness, Donna's fatness. Yes! We've had some very interesting sets that we've done. I mean, there was one where she was handcuffed to the refrigerator. <laughs> you handcuffed her to a fridge, Philip? I can't even I can't even add anything to that. That's already a good enough joke. I love her fatness. Yes! How her fat moves under her clothes. Hey, how's it going? I'm his supermodel. I'm perfect to him. Donna's body is a fat lover's playground. Donna is a fat lover's playground. Sounds fun. Dibs on the back fat seesaw. Okay, smile, relax. Yeah. There's just more to work with uh, between the cellulite, the stretch marks, the fat to push up and down on. Can we just talk about how he calls it cellulite? Between the cellulite. Have I been have I been saying it wrong my whole life? I mean, Philip is a man who knows his cellulite, right? He knows his fat. No! He's, I mean, he he spends his days on a fat lover's playground. This man, if he's pronouncing cellulite wrong, then my whole world is flipped upside down. If I, have I been saying cell, is cellulite the wrong way to say it? Is it cellulite or cellulite? Some Philip loves my belly, so he needs to have my belly as a center of attention during sex. Philip has a sort of refined palate, I think, when it comes to his erotic endeavors. Just a simple thing like lifting her belly, that's very erotic. <laughs> I'm just picturing Phil like in the bedroom, like really getting under it, getting low, and then digging his shoulder into it, pressing it up. Oh, that's hot. Doing reps with it, getting that belly on his shoulder. Oh, two. Oh my God, I'm gonna nut. Oh, I'm gonna nut. Hey. I don't think it's a big power trip deal for me, but I certainly do enjoy taking care of her. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what I'd call it, Philip. There's a shower involved every morning, yes there is. Yes there is. I get to handle all this fat, this, this bounty of flesh that I love. I get to care for it, I get to wash it. Okay, that may go down as my favorite sentence of all time. Just look at this bounty of flesh, I get to handle it and wash it and care for it. When Philip goes off to work each day, Donna stays home working on her own life goal. Well, you see, this is good. At least Donna has some goals set and she's working towards something. Maybe she wants to go on a vacation or she's saving up some money through, you know, the lewd picture she sells online to start a little college fund for a future child. I, I don't know. When it comes to dreaming about my weight, really there's no limits. I want to be a thousand pounds. I support Donna in her goal of reaching a thousand pounds. To us, her gain is a source of enormous sexual pleasure. Okay, um, reaching a thousand pounds wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but you, but you can't say that Donna doesn't have lofty aspirations, and that is commendable, something to work for, and I say bravo, Donna. People who want to maintain a large size, they could be putting themselves at some serious health risk. Hold on, health risk? 
Come on, hold, come on, Doc. Let's not jump to conclusions here. But what's interesting is why do they still continue to do it? Is the attraction or the compulsion so powerful that they lose judgment? Yes, is the answer you're looking for there, Doc. Clearly, they've lost sight of any form of rational or logical thinking. I don't believe that I've taken it to a zone that's unhealthy. My blood pressure's fine. I stay away from salt. I try to, you know, modify and try to have some sense about this. <sighs> <laughs> what? Okay, listen, Donna, I was on your side up until this point. I was really, I was rooting for you to reach your goal of a thousand pounds. But the second you try to start shoving, is, I haven't reached the point of it being unhealthy down my throat, that you're still doing something reasonable and you've modified your diet so that it's not really out of control. Fuck you, Donna! By the way, as a video editor myself that appreciates subtleties, just a masterful job of whoever edited this piece uh, by including this subtle dig right here. Stay away from salt, 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 salt. My blood pressure is fine and I stay away from salt and boom, cuts right to a skillet filled with five pounds of greasy scissors salty ass bacon. Oh, bravo. Donna and I discussed the idea of immobility, and immobility um, is a huge turn on. The thought of being completely dependent on somebody is just totally awesome to me. Okay, we're pretty deep in at this point, and I am struggling to come up with any sort of commentary I can add to this because this is almost just the perfect video. I can't think of anything I appreciate more than something this ludicrous uh, to be gracing my eyeballs right now. Being completely immobile totally accentuates the power dynamic where the person who's immobile appears and can feel completely powerless and the person who's feeding them can feel completely powerful over them. What? Philip, I can't get out of bed. Will you get the crane? Oh, yeah. Keep struggling, you naughty girl. Fight against that gravity. Keep fighting against that gravity weighing you down. Uh, uh, Philip! Oh, keep writhing around, baby. I'm almost finished. I think my lungs are collapsing, Philip! Yatsy! The thought of having fewer responsibilities and doing less makes me feel great. It's my dream. All righty. Well, I feel like doing less and having fewer responsibilities is pretty much what everybody wants, isn't it? So I can kind of connect with that on a kindred level. And now we have a roadmap of exactly how to get there. Just force feed yourself up to a thousand pounds, become immobile, and you can just find someone online like Philip that will take care of you and the world becomes your oyster. Don't call this love when it's just lust. Oh, hot take. There is nothing wrong with preferring bigger women. Amen. But this is messed up. Stop now. All right, pump the brakes here. You got to understand, we're, we're almost in 2019 now, and we live in a time where we're normalizing absolutely everything. doesn't matter how outrageous or ridiculous it is. It's, it's normal. If they're not hurting anyone, it's fine. So I say, you know, have a ball, man. If you want to kill yourself with food and you want Philip to help you do it, enjoy. I love her fat. Yes! <laughs> Does anyone else who is just very slightly overweight immediately feel better about themselves? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, I kind of do, actually, now that you mention it. And finally, my friend Jinjin raises a point here. He says, I don't want to sound cruel or anything, but I think after having no predators at all, the natural selection that exists for humans is in the form of simple stupidity like this. I... I mean... He raises a good point. Well, this was just a real treat being able to enjoy this with you guys. Love to see a comment from you down below. Uh, even if you think I was insensitive because I don't find this normal or okay, love to hear from you as well. As always, I really appreciate your guys' time. I don't take that for granted. And I do appreciate Vikings War of Clans as well for help sponsoring the Tomato Mafia. If you want other ways to help support the channel, you can check down in the description. You can become a channel member or check out the merchandise um, or not. Uh, but I, I appreciate you either way. Listen, if you could do me one last favor before you go just spend the next like six to seven years i think it'll probably take about that long eating no less than ten thousand calories a day until you've put on hundreds and hundreds of pounds of fat so you're just one big bounty of flesh and then inevitably when you're just lying in bed because you can't get out of it and your sores all over your body and your heart's about to collapse just take a deep breath and as you exhale just think to yourself man that was so worth it. And at that point, just hip thrust the motherfucking like button for me. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Until then.
Peace. Fucking views.